Hello and welcome to Ravis Garage. Uh, this morning I'm going to try and fix this extremely annoying light, which is the airbag light. Uh, I know there's a problem with the, the wiring under the seat, so I'm going to have a wee look at that. And I've done a video before about how to reset it, and you can move the seat back and forward and shut the car off and switch it back on. In fact, we'll try that. Let's switch it off. So I've moved the seat right back. Close the door, reset, open the door, start the engine, airbag light on, and there you go, there it's off. And that's because I've moved the seat all the way back, so I'm going to have a look under here. But uh, it always goes back on again. So if I press one in my memory, see, see the seat moving. That's it off, engine off, close door, give it a second, open door, and start engine again. Your bag lights on, should go out. That goes out. However, <clears throat> every time I drive the car, I always get the ear bag light coming back on again. So let's move this seat forward. So I'm just going to have a wee look underneath the seat to try and understand the wires coming off, or oh, being moved. So I'm going to look underneath the chair. Let me just test this light out first. Oh, that's much better. So you've got this bit of wiring coming from the bottom of the car, and I think that's the bit that moves. So let me try and see if I can move the seat with that. Let's move it forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see it moving now. Move it right all the way back. This bit is that bit cable back there as well, it's moving. I'm not sure we'd like to see that to be honest with you, but however, and what I might do is I might just take the seat uh, reel off and try and tilt it back the way so I can have a better look just to see what the wires are doing because that is definitely moving. Piece of wire there. I know there's a cable we can buy, which I've got, which is for this side airbag here. I've already taken it off in Apprentice Pat's car, but it's the wrong connection. It's a vertical one rather than a horizontal connection. So, what I'm thinking of doing is I'll disconnect the seat or I'll tilt the seat backwards. Just to have a better look to see how I go about figuring out if there's anything we can do with the wires, if there's any connections we need to have a look at. Okay, right. This boat can help me. So, to take these off, there's a wee top screw there. The light's not catching that. Uh, which is uh, an E12. Get the light off. Slack. This one over here. It's quite slack as well. So 
got them a wee palm ratchets because there's not a lot of space in there. It's a big boat. That's a wee bit of thread lock on that. Try and get the seat to move forward. That should expose the back ones, which are in there. I'm just get that tool back out. Switch that ignition off. The back one should be much the same. This wee plastic cover should just pop off there. Should pop off. So these are the same. Keep the sock off there. Socket on. Put a thread lock on that. Get him out the road. The seat should move, which it does. So put him over there. We'll move the seat back. Open the seat, just tilts back enough for us to see what's going on. So that's us back as far as we can. <coughs> so, there we go. so I've managed to tilt the seat back, just switch this ignition off, and we'll have a look. So this is the cable I was talking about here, it moves, there's a connector there, it's quite wobbling about, that probably hooks in there, it does actually, it's just came off, that there is supposed to be, if you can see that, it's supposed to be hooking that harness up there, that is quite slack. And that looks like one of the cables for 
the airbag. Just moving about a wee bit. That looks a bit sus there. So I'm going to get the other cable I bought just to see if I can identify the wiring colours to see if it's the right cable I've bought. Although it's, I think it's the wrong connection to be fair. This here, uh, I'm not 100% sure what that's for, but it's certainly flapping about. And if you notice, just on here, these wee white score marks, see them? Well, it must be rubbing on something. Um, look quite, look quite deep for what they are, but they're definitely white score marks on there. I hope we can see that in the camera. Um, apart from that, I can't really see anything else. Um, the cable that I've got uh, is this cable here <coughs> and it's got this type of connector on it which is a like a horizontal connector and the only one I can see that's got that type of connector on it is I don't know if we can see that in here so this looks like the uh, a little bit of that yellow tab there looks like the pre-tensioner for the seat belt uh, so I'm going to try and follow that cable to see where it goes Maybe if we could replace that cable, because apparently this cable is a bit longer. There's a number on that if you ever needed that. Um, GPLA 14834. So I'm going to be trying to see if I can follow that cable in there and see where it goes to. But What's, what's thrown me there is that it's only this part of the seat that's moving, the up and down part in here stays all stationary. So these, the bottom wires, are the only ones that are moving, potentially that one over there as well. Um, I don't see any wee clips on, oh there is a wee clip on that, see that? This wee clip here, let me try and figure out where that goes. Yeah, because it's certainly got a wee Christmas tree holder on it, so let me have a look and see if I can see where that actually goes. There's a hole somewhere. Yeah, I wonder if I could just move the seat a wee bit more. Tilting that forward. It's a wee bit better. It's a bit better. Now, where does that Christmas tree go to? I certainly can't see a hole for it. I'll probably look back in the video and see where the hole is, but definitely looks if it's here somewhere. Uh, I don't know if... God, I'm not the camera over there. Um, <coughs> I suppose I could tie it up. This looks like another part for another connector. I don't see it going that way, do you? Hole there. This doesn't look too healthy or secure, should I say? Just unplug that. It looks all right. I just thought there was a wee bit of frayed wire there, but it's not. i do this left handed upside down. There we go, that's back in. 
Yeah, that one's a mystery. <coughs> Where that goes. Can't see a hole at all anywhere there. Also got these bits of cable here that are quite bent. You often wonder if it's maybe something in there. Right, okay, so let's see if I can put that back on. It's this bit here. Let's get the wee slot in the back of it from that side. So, ah, there's a wee tiny bit broke off there. See that? I don't know if I can pick that up with the camera. Hopefully, I can. Yeah, that wee bit that slides on the back of that is actually broke. So, we've got to wonder why. In fact, I might put a cable tie around this one. Hold that in position. I don't know if I put one in that there. I don't hold that in position. So I don't want to put too many cable ties on it as it moves, it stretches the cable. So I don't know whether there needs to be a bit of flexibility in that cable there. Um, they look fairly secure, although it's still worrying me about that. Scraping, unless somebody's put something under the seat and it's scraped along there. So that might be another thing to look at if you've got anything maybe your kids have put under the seat that's causing it to catch any of the wires or just touch them in any way. So I've had a look at that uh, seat belt pre tensioner and it actually goes up in here. So I don't see any movement in that cable, there seems to be plenty of movement in it. However, uh, I can't really cable tie it anywhere. Let me just let you see that there. Hopefully we can see it. So that, that's the cable there coming from that yellow tab. There is a couple of anchor points on it, but it does look as if it's stretched. I'm probably not be able to see that. I'm taking some of the the wrapping off it, but it definitely goes into that other big wire and one there. So I wonder if I could just put a tie wrap on that one. And again, I've got enough movement. So I think I'll leave that one now. And we'll come back to that one if it still remains a problem. So I'm just trying to do some basic stuff here. So as you can see, maybe a bit closer what I've done there. Put that wee cable tie on here. That won't reach unless I bring the seat down. So I shall get prepared to bring the seat back down. Uh, and I think I can do that. If I switch the ignition on. Oh, for God's sake, who's the key? So I'm basically turning that to bring the seat down a wee bit. Lumber. Let's see. That's going to give me enough room to get that cable in there. Let's load it a wee bit more. Uh, it's just a, a bad angle there. Okay, let's try again. 
There we go, so that's that connected. I've tidied that cable up over there. Look at his hands. Yeah. I've clipped that one on over there. I've tied up that. So I shall get the seat back down. Hopefully that shouldn't be too difficult. bolts in here just to secure that. It will move but I'll try and bring the lumbar support back up to balance it a wee bit. So I've got the gap tool on eh, under the RCM airbag. I've got three faults. Right side airbag deployment control, general electrical failure, eh, driver's seat pretension, seat, driver's seat belt pretensioner deployment control, general electrical failure circuit open, and battery voltage general electrical failure circuit open. Now I also notice I've got all these other codes which are usually not there and which is unusual. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if I've got an intermittent earth problem in this car. So let's clear these codes. See what it does. I've certainly no airbag on. Close that. Clear all. So I think half of these will disappear. I've got my usual ones, I do have a problem with the front camera, and I've got an exhaust gas sensor on the left side, and I think there's an all-terrain module um, fault as well, which I've never got to the bottom of either. So there we go, terrain response, digital audio, there you go. So these are the three faults I've got, um, terrain response, which is always there, let's have a look at that, battery voltage algorithm-based failure signal, Digital audio antenna for the DAB radio, I think that is. And the usual exhaust gas recirculation temperature sensor A circuit high, which is a job I've got in the background. So it's interesting that these are the only three faults that come up. I can drive the car and um, all these faults come back. So I'm beginning to wonder, based on the faults, that there's an electrical problem and it might be that that's an earth uh, connection. So there we go, scanned again, three faults, no problem, all the airbag faults are away. Well, that was a wee quick test drive there and no light on, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'll maybe give it a day or two, I'm driving the car, and we'll keep our eye on it to see if it comes back on again. And Pat made a good point there about maybe tilting the seat up whilst We've got it all connected and moving all the wires to see if we can get the airbag light to come on. Uh, but I should have done that myself, I never thought of that. However, that's us for now. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it works out for you if you have a wee look at your airbag light. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now.